Hey there, this is Heather with Autism Chrysalis, and I'd like to offer an idea for a way that you might be able to deal with some low-level annoyances in your life. These would be things that aren't objectively wrong, like there's nothing technically bad about the situation, but it just gets on your nerves. Maybe a personality conflict with another coworker or someone who just says this particular word or phrase over and over and you're just like, oh, come on, get a new catchphrase. Something that happens on a regular basis that you don't have any actual control over, you can't fix the situation, and maybe it doesn't necessarily need to be fixed, but it just drives you nuts. So there's a thing that sociologists and anthropologists do called participant observer where you are part of a situation but you're also observing the situation as if you're kind of an outsider but you're still in it like you you're not apart from it you are a part but you're not as emotionally invested in it this is a thing that journalists do when they're covering physically dangerous situations. Maybe they're a war correspondent or um, covering a mob or a riot or something like that. Um, and their natural instinct would be to run away, like most people do, but they stay and they watch and they record what's going on in order to be able to report it. Um, this also, interestingly, is what goes on in drinking games, uh, besides the alcohol. but. If you're waiting for someone to say a particular word and then you drink when they say that word, um, you're you're sort of apart from the situation. You're you've become an observer to it. The really key thing here, though, is that you're not dissociating, but you're not as emotionally invested in the situation. So there's a few different ways that you could do this in the course of just daily life. You could do a sort of drinking game without the alcohol where whenever this person says that annoying phrase or word you reward yourself in a particular way you get you get to fidget a bit you get um a snack you get an m m you get time off you get to walk around the room you get some like you do something that that feels good to you but is small and if you're in a place where you're being observed maybe it's not very conspicuous but it's just like ooh, I get my little treat and so you're almost begin to start looking forward to them saying that annoying thing because it's not as annoying it's like you get a treat now and it becomes a game another way you could do it would be maybe make it into a bingo board like you put make make spaces I fill in the spaces with various annoying things that happen frequently in your workplace. And whenever you can get the get bingo, then you get a treat or something. And it's like you're looking forward to those annoyances, not like in a joyous way, but just in a like vindication way or like, ooh, I get my little thingy or um yeah, anyway. Another way you could do it is maybe make a list of 10 or 20 different small rewards for yourself. You get ice cream, you get to go for a walk, you get a five minute break, you get to go shoot Nerf hoops. So you can make a list of, of all sorts of little rewards and then you roll a die and you get whatever fate gives you. Um, there's lots of different ways you could do this. I would encourage you to to find your own experiment, see what works. Like this isn't one of those things in life where you have to do it just this way and it doesn't work. No, make it up. Uh, invent your own. See what works for you. If you hate this idea, feel free to ignore it. If you find that you like it, great. You might play around with it. Okay. Hope something in this might have helped, spark an idea at least. And I hope you have a wonderful day.